Hi everybody, Father Bill Holzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. And I'm in the kitchen of the parish offices here at Holy Trinity. And uh, we've been doing a lot of changing. This is a season for lots of changes. Uh, some of its personnel, I'll talk about that in a minute. But some of that has consequences for spaces. So, for example, right about here was, right here, was our photocopier. Now it is around the, the corner. Uh, the kitchen itself then has this big sp blank spot. We think we're probably going to put maybe right there a chair, maybe a, a table so someone can sit down and enjoy some coffee or whatever it is on their break. I don't know. Uh, Snickers, he's a little discombobulated trying to figure out where, what's going on. Um, further, I'll give you a little sense here. The office is here. It's kind of dark. A while back, we put in another part of the desk here for reception. Uh, but this part over here, oh, there's Hobbs. God bless Hobbs. Uh, over here was uh, a bunch of just stuff. And now it's been opened up. It's been a while, apparently, from what I understand, since it's had some empty space. We're going to put a table and some a workspace here to be able to lay out things in case there's the need to um, organize papers and whatever. Right now, there's the photocopier. That's where it's going to be. It's a little out of commission right now. And uh, instead, we have the uh, a a inkjet printer taking its place until we get it all hooked up. Anyway, so I am no longer in my main office where I used to be. It was the biggest office. Uh, and we realized that we need uh, to have some room for people that, uh, well, have, we have to double up uh, because there's not enough office space. So after some discernment, some shuffling and thinking about it, we discerned that we would go ahead and have Father Anthony, our new pa pastoral, or parochial vicar, excuse me, uh, connect with one of our pastoral ministers and that would be Pat Linton, and so they will be in the same room, uh, sharing the same office, but they will be, uh, their office hours will be shifted so they won't be intersecting all that much. Uh, for myself, I moved into where it was Nick's office, and that's this right here. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour. Uh, every every room has to have their name tag here. And uh, um, this was a gift uh, given to me to give to one of our parishioners. Uh, these are erasers, collectibles, you know, important stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, so you walk in here. This is then uh, the office, and you can see Snickers. He's getting ready to perch on his favorite space. There he goes. And you, when, when you drive by now, you might notice that he's looking out the window, and this is where he is, looking out the window. He's right now kind of fixated on this peacock of a, it's a plush toy. Hey there, Snickers. Yeah, you doing good? You doing good? Okay. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I put some decorations, some images up. Uh, Got to have the beavers going on here, right? Uh, Erica had helped me with finding a, a, a fake plant. If it was a real plant, it wouldn't make it. And a lamp, I think that was in the Adoration Chapel. We replaced that with a different one. Uh, it's nice to have some windows out front. And then a desk right now, it's pretty darn clean. <laughs> that's pretty unusual. But that's because, well, I'm new to this space in this office, and it helped me. It was nice. It helped me to then um, clean up things. Uh, there's my shelf, bookshelf. Got icons and pictures and a funny, that's a bobblehead of me. Somebody gave that to me once. An Elmo doll, uh, a crucifix here. You might recognize these from one of my first homilies right here. Yeah. Are you a steamroller or a backhoe? That's the question, right? Well, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to talk about some of the personnel things going on. And uh, so I need to shift here. So just I'm going to pause, take a deep breath, and then we'll talk about that. Okay, so I'm settled now here in the office. I'm just sitting at my desk. And I just want to now let you know kind of the general picture of what's going on uh, regarding our staffing. So the first is at the school. So we have uh, Cassie Klobes, our first grade teacher. She's moving out of state with her wonderful dog, Monica. And i got to be cautious because that's, uh, that's Snicker's girlfriend. That is Monica. They get along great. It's a lot of fun. And sometimes I'd bring the dog over. I'd bring Snickers over and they'd play in the first grade room before the, with the kids would get there. Uh, but she'll be moving on along with Monica. That is Cassie's moving on as along with Monica, uh, the dog. And then Christy Semke will be moving. She's uh, one of our math teachers. Does a fantastic job. Very well loved. Has a great attitude. And she's just discerning that she has things that she wants to do. And uh, she needs to move aside to make sure that she can do those things. And again, if you want to talk to these folks, I encourage you, you can, want, you can get details from them personally. But uh, she'll be missed as well. She has a very positive presence, a fantastic math teacher. And of course, I'm a math teacher you know, from my previous trade, you could say. And so uh, it's sad, but again, we'll have to hire uh, for a new position in that regard. The big one is really kind of a, a surprise to all of us. And that was 
uh, Ashley Sheridan. She'll be moving on. Ashley will be moving on to St. Mary's Academy in Portland. This is her alma mater. And anybody that knows her has known for many years that she's always dreamed of going back to her alma mater and teaching. And I understand that or being part of the, the staffing. I get that. I was a Tigard High School graduate. And I thought, well, it'd be great to go back to Tigard High School and be a math teacher. That was you know, what I studied. And sure enough, in my case, it did. I mean, when I was offered that position, I just, yeah, absolutely. So I get it. Uh, of course, I'm giving her a hard time. But of course, I'm just joking around. I do wish uh, Ashley, I wish actually all three of them the best. I wish them to find places where they can be happy and uh, show off their skills and just be filled with joy in the faith. So uh, I'm, a, I'm very convinced that that's going to happen for all three of them. Uh, those are decisions that they've made, not just at, uh, at uh, a whim. Uh, well, Ashley's was a little surprised. She'd been thinking about it for many years, and you know, good for her, and congratulations to her. Now, on our side, that means we need to hire individuals. So those are three positions that we'll need to hire for. We do, I think we are closing in on the first grade position, uh, and we're going to need to look at the fifth grade, or the, excuse me, the, um, uh, the math position that uh, Christy Semke's in uh, and I, as I speak and it's going to be the principal position that's going to be the tough one. Uh, but I want you to know we are already looking. Uh, we've been in contact with the superintendent of the schools for Catholic schools. Her name is uh, Jeannie Ray Timoney, and she will be helping us do the discernment as we go out and uh, look for possible candidates so that we can fill the position with someone who will do a great job, who will fit into our culture and be the person that God wants us to get. So it may be an interim person. It may be flat out a new principal we'll just kind of see. So I'd ask that you would pray about that because that's a very important position amongst the administration, especially. Uh, there's myself as the pastor, there'll be Proca Vicar, Deacon Brett as the, will be the pastoral associate as soon as we can hire a business manager. Uh, and that makes up the, uh, the administration along with the principal. So that's a key set of people. So I ask that you pray for that. Uh, that would be helpful. And of course, pray for all these folks who are moving because it's stressful to do that, right? If you've moved anywhere or changed jobs, you know that's that's a difficult thing. So on the flip side, instead of you know people leaving, we also have people coming to us. Of course, we hope that we don't know they are that will you know replace those individuals, uh, Ashley, Christy, and Cassie. But we do know that Father Anthony Wong Fan will be with us on July one. Now he will actually be popping in and out beforehand because uh, the house is now ready to, to start doing some moving in. It's not yet quite finished, but it's enough for Anthony, Father Anthony to bring some of his items to, you know, start, you say, planting himself here, right? Uh, and then a couple of weeks later will be a seminarian, and his name is Chin Nan Bo. Chin Nan Bo um, will be in and out. It'll be very um, uh, hit and miss because he's got a lot of other activities he's supposed to do as a seminarian during the summer. So you might see him in the offices here, and the, his job will be really when he is uh, at the offices or here at the parish to basically shadow myself and Father Anthony and also do and participate in the ministries as he can do during the time that he's got. And that'll be just for the summer. So he's the summer assignment where Father Anthony, we pray, will be, oh, please, Lord, please, Lord, will be a two-year position, if not longer, but I've never had a parochial vicar move uh, longer, really, than uh, two years. I had one that was a three-year uh, assignment, but that was because of covid and we're moving out of COVID, so I don't expect that. Let's just pray that Anthony will be with us, will be with us for two years. It's just it makes it much easier for everybody. You're gonna love him. So that's the stuff that's been going on. It's you know, for some it might be disconcerting, uh, it might be uh, a struggle for them. Uh, it might be something that causes them fear or uh, of the unknown. But I just want to assure you that God has got this. He knows what He's doing. These are things out of my hands, really. And those are the times when I really am convinced that that's going to be the work of the Holy Spirit. And I just need to be passively listening and then acting when I feel called by the Holy Spirit to do something. So that's what we're going to do. I'd ask that you do the same. You know, the surrender novena. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. It really does apply. I, this stuff is out of my hands. Other than we just do these basic processes to try to discern uh, with God and, of course, a team of people who it would be and whom will be the people uh, that will be filling these spots for the, our future. Uh, and it'll be neat because, you know, when we start school in the fall, those will all be filled and they'll be, I'm sure, awesome. And I just trust that. And I want you to trust that too. So not to worry. So folks, I'll be preaching this weekend. 
I haven't decided yet exactly the details of the homily, but I do want you to pray for those who are coming to Mass, who are struggling, who are broken, who are wounded, that the message from the scriptures and from my homily will be something that gives them life and helps them heal. That's my prayer. So pray for that as well. In the meantime, I'll see you this weekend. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Well, everybody, that I recorded that last part on Wednesday, and it is now Friday morning at 7 a.m., and guess what? We have concluded our principal search. We have decided, uh, after some uh, interviews and discussions, to hire Sarah Doomer. Sarah is one of our math teachers. She's been with us for 12 years. Uh, she joined the school with Ashley as a teacher, and so she knows uh, the systems. She knows our culture. And so, and she's well loved by the teachers and respected as a leader. She's also loved by parents and families and, and her students as well. So I want to just let you know, and we'll be announcing this in about an hour, a little bit under an hour to the, the, the school staff. But by the time you see this, uh, that will already happen. So this is public information. I'd ask that you uh, pray for Sarah and help her to, to prepare herself. It's a, you know, it's a daunting task. You go from a teacher to a a, an administrator, a principal, and that allows uh, your prayers will allow her to be able to, to have the best possibility of success. And of course, when you do see her, I'd ask you to um, encourage her and congratulate her because, boy, this is a big deal. And she's very happy. Ashley's very happy. happy. Uh, Deacon Brett, who was on the interview team with me, very happy. Uh, we had the uh, superintendent of schools, as I mentioned, Jeannie Ray Timoney. She was here as well in our process for uh, interviewing Sarah and discerning and I think we've done the right thing. And of course, I would ask that you uh, continue to support the whole school. Uh, and this is a transition time for them, even though you know, it's a good one in the sense of Sarah's known and beloved. It's just difficult when someone moves on and you know, some things will be different here and there. And I just want to ask that you uh, give Sarah your full support. That's it for the, <laughs> that's it for the news flash. And I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.